hey, uh, you were saying here on, this, uh, on the, the forum that you couldn't get this to work. Okay, so what it basically did was create a very simple level, crappy as it is. Uh, give it a, a small terrain, a bit of a texture of a terrain, and a bunch of aspens. Okay, so you want to see how the wind works. Um, we go to our rollout bar, entity, uh, physics, and wind area. Let's go click and drag it down here. Just stick it there. You'll see this kind of a, a pink outline. Okay, so it's going to affect the trees inside this area. Um, what you want to make sure though is for the vegetation that you've placed, as you can see, it's already bending. So in a way it would seem that wind is affecting it but it's it's not so much of a wind as it is a swaying in the branches this will happen whether or not there's wind or there or not because of the weight um, to make this happen you have to go to your vegetation uh, and click on whatever um, group of trees you have created uh, go to the root or go to one specific you only want affected by wind and ensure that bending is at a value it will be at zero if you created this uh, manually I set it to five it's a pretty reasonable number maybe a little bit too much but it, it, it makes sense for showing you how the wind works uh, back to our uh, actually I can just click on it here I can see it this little white line here hmm, doesn't want to get selected trees are in the way I haven't just deselected my aspen, have I? No, no, I have. Uh, let me see. Ah, there it is. Okay. Um, so, what you want to do is go down, make sure active is on, give it a direction of 1. Okay, so you'll see what happens now. Um, and speed. Yep, see this? Automatically. Okay, that's way too much speed. But, yeah. You'll see these little red guys popping out. And this is your wind area and the direction they're going in. We can switch this up to half and half. So we're going in that direction then. Or down or up. Kind of like a draft. Like so. Down and up. Um, and then you just affect your speed. You can have some kind of ridiculous tornado value. <laughs> where the trees look so unreal. But uh, yeah, this is how it works. Out of the box version of a cry engine um, I hope you can get to work you can also mess around with the air density I'm not exactly sure what this does but uh, yeah the speed is the main one as well as direction and making sure it's active uh, yeah okay I hope that helps ciao